Hey, I'm with Megan Berry, a uh, marketing manager at Clout. So, Megan, thanks for her being here. Uh, of course. So, tell me what it, you guys released some uh, pretty interesting news in the past 24 hours. What was it? So, we we introduced a new feature called Plus K that allows you to give uh, give Clout in essence um, to people on different topics. So, for instance, I might give Clout to you on the subject of technology or blogging. Okay. So. Like it's, I guess this is open to is this is completely open to everybody out there right now. This is uh, available yeah, to the public. All you have to do is uh, register for Cloud, and then you can give Plus K right on the site. Um, the only thing is, our our algorithm actually semantically analyzes tweets and highlights certain topics that are available for each person. So uh -huh. you can choose from those topics which ones you'd like to give Plus K on. So why is it important for people to to add Plus K to somebody uh, on their on their Cloud score? I mean, what what benefit is it aside from just more of an ego boost? Well, I think it can help in terms of giving plus K to others. It can really be a signal that you value them. So it's a way to say thank you, and that's a great social gesture. And for yourself, um, you know, I think it's a powerful signal to businesses, to people you're working with, if, if it shows that you're influential on the topics that, that you are influential on. So basically, uh, I guess take us from a, a a business perspective, uh, say I'm somebody like Pop Chips, right? And mm -hmm. I want to reach out to influencers uh, who might want to talk about our stuff. How can I leverage, first of all, let's, how can I leverage clout? And then how can I leverage uh, plus K, mm -hmm. uh, or, or from what people have plus K, and how can I leverage that to, to benefit you know, Pop Chips or yeah, some other brand? Definitely, so um, we do clout perks campaigns, and we actually are working with Pop Chips for that. And um, basically, we help the brand connect with influencers on certain topics. So we're taking into account plus Ks in that. Uh -huh. And um, like, for instance, Pop Chips will want to reach people who are influential, for instance, maybe about, about snacking, about food, about chips. Um, they may also want to reach people who are influential about parenting or nutrition. Like, it's going to depend on their brand, but we can help connect them with those influencers. And Plus K is just another great signal we can now add to that data. Can uh, the fact that right now we're limited to plus uh, up to five Plus Ks uh, mm -hmm. each day is if I add plus if I add five Plus Ks to uh, say Robert Scoble, mm -hmm. uh, will that inc will that that plays a factor in increasing his clout score? Well, right now we just released a feature, so we're still evaluating the signals we're getting from that, and the plan is certainly to to add it into the cloud score at some point. But we're going to evaluate how big of a factor it should be, just to make sure there's no gaming involved in it. Okay, and speaking of gaming and and this whole measure of influence and. I mean, another uh, social network or, or something like that it w it would be like Namesake or Branch Out, which mm -hmm. offers people the ability to endorse others on various topics. Like mm -hmm. uh, Chris Krug is, you can endorse Chris Krug about photography, you can endorse Robert Scoble on technology, mm -hmm. social media, uh, you know, geekery and all the whole like. Uh, how, is, how is clout differ uh, different from those or is it, how is it similar uh, and, and why should people let you know rely on what cloud is doing yeah i think what cloud does that's great is it puts all your all the information about your influence in one place so you can see you can see the score you can see topics you can see who you influence and also just the fact that we have over 2000 companies and applications using our api so you'll see cloud uh, score and, and sometimes topics on, on places like co-tweet hootsuite um, so actually having people plus KU will affect what you see there um, and that will be showing up for brands, for people looking at your profile and you actually do care what they're seeing there. So would you say that plus K is kind of like Google's plus one or kind of like a equivalent to a, a retweet or something like that? Or Yeah, I mean it's similar but I think it's great that you can say specifically this is about this topic. You know, if you retweet someone it may be a little bit subjective why you're retweeting it. Maybe you think it's funny, maybe you agree, or, or maybe you really disagree. Yeah. Um, and this just allows a sort of stronger signal. Now, do you have a, a lot of, obviously you're doing clout perks and everything like that. Uh, I guess the, the latest one you have, Franklin to Bash, you've done Virgin America, uh, you've done Southland, a whole bunch of one, uh, 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 clout perks. Does Plus one factor. Uh, sorry, plus K. Does that factor into somebody's uh, uh, eligibility or determination of whether they are they can participate in a specific uh, clout perk? 
I mean, certainly, if you if we get a lot of signals that you're influential, for instance, on TV shows or entertainment, like that's something we're gonna factor into a part. So it's one factor of a few, but it will it will sort of matter. Okay, and so I guess one other thing, uh, you know, I, I write a lot about uh, marketers and businesses. Uh, I guess not just specifically with pl uh, Plus K, but just in clout in general. Like, what are some uh, thoughts or, or some uh, insights that you might have to present to businesses and marketers who really want to reach out to influencers, or, or and, and they see this great thing about clout, and you know, obviously, there's other ones like Peer Index and, mm -hmm. and HubSpot. But how can they? What are some thoughts on how they can really truly leverage? what they're doing besides of, besides just selling their stuff, but really reaching out to people and, and leveraging the, uh, their clout scores. I mean, if people say, oh, clout, clout scores are just uh, a, a meaningless thing. It's just another number for, for people to, to, to boast about, right? But obviously for marketers and businesses, I mean, that's, it, it, a score is, has a huge potential for their customers. Like, what would you say, what, what would your thoughts be to, to marketers and businesses? Yeah, definitely. So um, our underlying premise is that influences the ability to drive action. So that, that's what marketers care about too. So we're able to sort of sift through, you know, people who have tons of followers but don't really drive action and find, find really the stars on the internet in various topics. So when someone, a marketer, is maybe replying, managing their community, it's very helpful to know this is someone who can drive a lot of action on this topic. Maybe I should go the extra mile for them. Or maybe if I'm a big business and people are talking about me, you know, 20 times a second, I can't respond to everyone. Yeah. But there are certain people I need to respond to, and cloud can help you find that. So are a lot of businesses leveraging that from a customer service standpoint? So like, say, for example, uh, Virgin America, uh, if they if they were responding to somebody, would they ha do you have do you, have you heard about uh, customer service folks whether they're uh, at like Virgin America or Pop Chips or CoTweet are are they leveraging uh, their that influence score? Yeah, we've certainly heard from through the applications like CoTweet, HootSuite, and Seasmic like they've told us that companies actually part of the reason they added cloud scores is because companies wanted to see that and they find that to be really helpful. Cool. So where can people find more information about Cloud and Plus K? So just go to cloud.com. Cool. Thank you.